how do they feel how is your person feeling at the moment what do you need to know going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind how are they feeling down this side is you down this side is them and down the middle is a connection energy welcome back to hope to have a daily my name is angie i'm a tarot card reader from england what is going on in this connection of yours so i'm going to do clarifying in the recent past you've had a page of pentacles reversed which is feeling ready for a step up feeling ready to take this connection to the next level whatever level it is they had the queen of wands they expect you to chase them um, and the seven of swords reversed in the middle of you both in the recent past is this really timid energy of what we're doing how are we doing it this person really likes you chasing them really likes that you're the one that does all of the work and because they're just sitting back and letting you do all of it the connection's not really moving it's not moving forward um and it's not fair and because they don't put any work in it makes you feel is there things that i don't know what do i need to know so on the page of pentacles we have the eight of wands and it's you, you you send their messages you send their messages in the recent past in the past to this connection it's been you that's been doing all of the legwork and then they've got the queen of wands queen of wands which is that energy is just sitting back going yeah who are you kind of this energy this i don't think it's arrogance i think it's they like your attention they play it a little bit too cool um i think they've got feelings for you but they like they like knowing that you're going to be the one messaging them you're going to be the one that's trying to suggest all the things and they'll either say yes or no and they'll keep you waiting and they act like they don't need you and they act like they don't want you they like the attention though um on the seven of swords we've got the seven of pentacles there's lots of seeds that have been planted here by you which ones are they going to let grow because at the moment with their attitude in the recent past nothing's really been able to grow private readings are available if you want to put a purple heart in the comments to help get this into the algorithm that would be great the ten of cups for you at the moment and you've got the nine no the nine the nine of pentacles reversed you don't want to be single you want to be in a relationship with this person they've got the page of wands reversed so they're being really shallow they're being really selfish uh, they, ha they have got that air of arrogance about them and then the six of swords reversed is this half-hearted energy they're not really showing up they can barely reply they can barely bother to reply you feel like you're in a relationship with this person but this person also makes you feel single but they don't want you to be single because they don't want you to have attention off anyone else they want all of your attention the star in the middle of you both we have the king of swords reversed this is a very unfair situation with them coming up as the six of swords reversed and the king of swords reversed in the middle of you both if they don't want to talk to you they don't talk to you they're very insensitive they're very stubborn you hope for the best the ten of cups here for you it feels like you know what kind of relationship you want and you're demanding that this person gives it to you but they're giving you like one percent they're not even giving you that they're giving you like 0.5 percent and you're like well i want a relationship so that that'll do it won't do because you can't have a relationship like this with the star in the middle of you both and the king of swords reversed it feels like they can behave however they want and you apologize and you forgive and you forget you they can leave you on red they can refuse to reply to your messages for days on end and then when they come back in again you make it all okay for them you don't speak up for yourself there's points where when you are communicating you're biting your tongue and you've got all of these worries going on inside of you but you don't want to say it because you don't want to push them away and you don't want to give them a reason not to talk to you and you want to make it easy for them 
this is not a relationship. This is them not really doing anything and getting all of your attention. And sometimes they give you attention and sometimes they don't. So moving forward, we've got the five of wands for you and the full of reverse. The full and they're both reversed. It's this volcano. You know, when you bite your tongue and you have all these things that you want to say to them, but you dare not say them. It feels like there may have been moments before where you have said it to them, but then they kind of dismiss it. They just dismiss your feelings. The full reversed is you recognise and they're not committing to you. And then the five of wands reversed is almost like you're blowing your load. Not blowing your load, that's really rude. Blowing your top, losing your temper. <laughs> not the other thing. Oh my goodness, it's Friday. Okay, you know what I mean. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe that's what they get from you, you know. Um, talk about derailing the derailing the reading oh my goodness How embarrassing anyway the page of swords reversed is they keep letting you down and the king of cups reversed they kind of make you feel like oh they might have big feelings for me but they don't tell you with the king of cups reversed because whatever they say you feel they mean the opposite so when they when they're saying that they really like you you think that they don't and when they say that they do you know that they're lying and it's like this, I'm going to let you down and you're going to think that I love you. It's a really weird connection. If you're coming out of the tail end of this connection and you're thinking, do I just need to cut my losses and go because, or should I hold on and wait because you have that feeling? Because they keep coming up as the Queen of Wands. They can be very convincing. Um, but it, it feels like there's going to be a point where you just snap and you just had enough and they let you down one too many times or they ignore you one too many times and you begin to realize that it's quite deliberate it's not that they haven't seen your message on their phone it's they didn't bother looking and they didn't bother replying and they didn't bother giving you five minutes um the lover's card reversed in the middle of you both and the six of wands reversed you've got better times ahead of you on your own or with somebody else the lover's card reversed is you really need to, you, if this is your reading and you're nodding along and you know deep down that this is how this person's treating you, it's time to move away from them. It's time to validate yourself because this person's only ever going to do what's in their own best interest. They're not in a relationship. I don't think they know how to do a relationship and you deserve so much better. It does feel like there's there's an argument coming. It's almost like you finally putting your foot down and giving them an ultimatum, and but they're not going to give you anything. But I think you know that anyway. You deserve so much better. You've got so much going for you. If you can put this amount of energy into someone who's not showing much interest, imagine what an amazing relationship would be with someone who is showing an interest. Bit of a harsh reading. You're probably going to leave me some hate. I hope, I hope, I hope that you disconnect from this person if this is your reading and you claim the type of relationship that you deserve to have. Even if that's a relationship with yourself for a while, like why waste your energy on someone like this? I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. Thank you so much for being here with me today. It's Friday. If you're one of my regular viewers, welcome. Part of my secret purple heart gang, because hardly any of you make it to the end of the reading. If this is your reading, let me know in the comments. I like it when the right person gets it. I sometimes get people going, this doesn't resonate with me, or, oh, you're completely wrong. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not the end of the world. There's, there's the reading for you somewhere, you know. Um, not every reading's going to be for everyone. Otherwise... What's the point? We're all unique and complex in our own little ways, aren't we? So I hope you're having a good day. Rosie, my pretty little tuxedo cat, last night went missing in the house and she'd found a shelf with some towels on and she'd crammed herself into the smallest little area. I don't know what she was doing because it wasn't even cold or anything, but she's like, I want some time alone. We were looking for her for ages. She must have heard us. Of course, she was ignoring us. And this morning, she's just in her own little world. She, she, she doesn't have a family today. She's just doing what she wants to do, which is great. 
It's kind of weird that she goes from stalking me to ignoring me, but that's cats, isn't it? Um, yeah. If you've got a hamster, let me know in the comments. Random question. If you've ever have a, ever had a hamster, let me know in the comments. I will see you soon.